What's up everyone? I know the angle might be crappy, the audio might be crappy, the lighting might be crappy, but I've got things to fix that. Today is going to be a very short video on the new things that I got to better my vlog setup. And this is probably going in and out of focus too because it's just a crappy stock uh, 18 to 55 millimeter lens. So recently I just got in the Canon 24 millimeter STM lens. Check it out. And it's awesome, lets in a ton of light, f-stop of 2.8, um, I love it. Later on in this video, I'm gonna switch over to everything and kind of give you um, a, a better look on the box and the warranty and a little more information on the product. Next up, I have the Rode Video Mic. Now I've been wanting one of these for a while just so that I can get better audio on all my videos because the, the stock mic that's on the Canon isn't the best. The stock lens isn't the best. Another thing that's been really difficult is holding the camera with this big lens on it. Um, I wanted something a little more compact. I wanted something that I'd get better audio with. Uh, I also bought a Gorillapod next. And I got the 3K kit. So with this I'll be able to hold it up real nice. Um, and I'll give you kind of an angle on how that's gonna be. So this is terrible. Wait for this about to get real good. All right, everyone, feast your eyes on the new lens, the new mic, and it's on the stand, it's on the Gorilla Pod right now. I'm standing in the exact same spot that I was standing at before, and haven't changed the lighting, nothing. And it's fantastic, I love it. Um, this lens, it, I wish it came in a fancy box, but it didn't, but not that that would have made a difference. The Canon 24 millimeter, Awesome, I love it. Read a ton of reviews on it before. Um, trying to decide if I was gonna go with the 18, uh, a 50. I know a lot of people use the nifty 50, but I feel like that would've been better for if I was doing photography, which I'm not. So, 24 millimeter STM prime lens. Absolutely love it. Everyone check it out. If you don't have it, look into it. This is the old lens I was using, the 18 to 55. See how fast that focuses? So much faster than the other one. And, I mean, it's good for what it is, but for my use, I mean, I'm holding a DSLR like this and I have this big lens protruding. I no longer have that, which is awesome. It saves so much space in my hands, so much weight that I didn't need. And it, it, it's just, I couldn't be happier with the new lens that I have. The Video Road Mic, or the Road Video Mic, excuse me. This one was a difficult decision. I wanted to go with the VideoMic Pro, but it's kind of expensive. Um, I ended up going with just a regular video mic. Super pleased with it. It has its own little suspension right here, if you look. So when you're moving the camera and everything, it kind of glides on that suspension, which is really nice. Um, it has a 10 year warranty with it. Uses a nine volt battery, hooks right into the jack, the microphone jack on the camera. Um, it's not as, it's actually kind of bigger than I thought it was going to be, but you can't. Yeah, sorry, the card on my memory card kind of got full. The high pass filter on the Rode mic, which is supposed to cut out um, like lower frequency noises, so kind of like the, um, like an air conditioner, or like that hissing sound that you hear in some microphones. So I think that should be fixed. Uh, but what I was saying before was that the Rode mic, it's kind of bigger than I had expected. I, I kind of expected like, I don't know, like that big or so, but it's kind of like that big, um, which is fine. It doesn't get in the actual footage. It's just a little more protruding than I thought it would be. And it's on this cool little swivel as well. On top of that, I also got the Gorilla Pod, which this thing is amazing. You can wrap it around pretty much anything. Um, <clears throat> you can wrap it around poles. You can use it as a stand like I'm doing now. You can hold it and like doing like a vlog setup where it kind of makes this like uh, half of a U shape. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, I'm also excited to see this audio playback to see if it's actually better than it was earlier in this video. But let me try. I'm gonna try to see how we do it with like a vlog setup. So I would be holding it like this, which is so much easier than how it was before. It's so much lighter. Um, the good thing about this. Um, Gorilla Pod is that it also has a leveler on it. So I got the kit that kind of tells me if the camera's level, if it's kind of tilted, if it's not, which is really great if I'm using it as a stand. Um, but I really like the angle. It lets in a ton of light, which is awesome, especially if it's in a darker room or like in a living room, inside, indoors, stuff like that. So 
super pumped on that. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, that's not how it was. It's something like this. Eh, we're close. We're close. Okay, yeah, I had to I had to reset that up. That was kind of more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Um, but yeah, all set up. I really like the way the angle is when I use it on the Gorilla Pod. Um, the camera's so much lighter. The audio I'm hoping is gonna be really good once I play this back compared to how it is when I don't have anything attached to it. I know the lens I love. Um, sometimes it goes in and out of focus if I'm moving too quick, so it's kind of like, I don't know. But it's much better than what I was using, and if I have it like up this close and it's focusing on me when I actually am vlogging, then it will stay focused on my face. Uh, it's just, one, it's not really good for shooting like sports or anything like that. Um, so yeah, absolutely love it. Uh, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, in the description below, I'm curious, what is everyone else using for your vlog setup? Like, what microphone are you using, if any? What camera are you using? Um, are you using any other attachments for that? Uh, I guess I should mention I'm using a Canon T5i, and I've watched a ton of different videos and different vloggers to see what equipment they're using. And yeah, I came down to this, and I, I love it so far. So, super impressed. I know a lot of people are probably using mirrorless cameras now. But those are expensive, so maybe one day. So definitely thanks for checking out this video. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. That was a stupid little wipe. That, that, that wasn't going to work. All right, bye. Okay, so I've learned one thing from editing this video is that it does, this lens does not like motion at all. If I'm like moving like this, it doesn't like it. I also don't like the fact that it's kind of noisy when it focuses. So as long as I'm in like this setting where I'm going to be vlogging, which is the majority of what I'm going to be doing anyways, I think it works fantastic. Um, do not buy this if you want to shoot sports because it's not, I wouldn't recommend it at all. Since it's focused like this, it's not going to be going in and out and making noises, which I'm totally cool with. So 100% love it for what I'm going to be using for, but not for every situation at all.